Welcome back, I'm Landon Seas, and this is the third video of the series, part two of the construction process. We'll be going over uh, the construction of the subfloor, but we won't be able to do it in my downstairs living room, so I think it's time to take this into the garage. Now, you might be thinking, Landon, why are you in a garage? Well, here's my idea. So my plan for this subfloor is I'll be building it or tracing the outline of the ground of the house so that's what i have here i took all the measurements all around the house this is the porch right here and i will be tracing it with a pencil all on the ground right here then after that i'll be building up popsicles just like this i'll be building popsicles that line up with those markings before we get into the first time lapse of the series, I just want to say a couple things that I left out in the uh, second or the last video. So, um, I actually have built a popsicle stick house before. Um, it was a two year project, me going off on and off. And I had just finished it about a month ago. And the reason why I wanted to start this one up was because the last one was kind of bad. I was, I built, I started in seventh grade. And then I finished it my freshman year. So this one is gonna be a lot more detailed and a lot more, I guess, accurate to what an actual house would be built like. And then also in that last video, I forgot to explain why I chose to make the walls half an inch thick. Because as you remember, um, I said that the scale is in 124th scale. So when you make the walls of a popsicle stick, or when I made the walls of a popsicle stick house, they would line up like this with the outside covering the width of a popsicle stick, like that. And this distance across is equal to half an inch. So if you add them together like that, on both sides, it's around half an inch. So in real life, these walls would be about a foot thick. So I hope that just clears some things up. Okay, quick update. Um, my original idea was to take a time lapse of me drawing the pencil lines or the base of the house, uh, but it barely showed up on camera. Uh, like you see, if I zoom in, you can see it. But if I step back, you can barely, barely just make out, make it out. And I thought that wasn't very interesting. So, what I think I'll, I'll do now is take a video of me laying down the popsicle sticks. Uh, on the house design and do a time lapse of that. So let's begin that time lapse in three, two, one, go.
cow i just finished um four days the whole uh, easter weekend i have been on my knees all day and they're literally numb like look red on both but i got it done <clears throat> you can see that it's flat pretty flat uh, it'll look better once I sheath it or cover the whole thing in a uh, popsicle sticks But you may be wondering why like for example, I put these things in here uh, That was to brace it to make like a triangle so that it wouldn't bend or anything when I was laying it down But it turned out nicely You see how big it is you can barely get it in a frame So yeah. Crap, I have to clean this all up. <laughs>